वेलकम एवरीवन टू सिलेनियम ट्रेनिंग बाय विजडम ट्रेनिंग्स हेलो एवरीवन टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक ऑफ पाय टेस्ट नो आई हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन अ ओवरव्यू अबाउट द पाय टेस्ट दैट व्हाट एक्चुअली पाय टेस्ट इज इन द वेरी स्टार्टिंग वीडियोस नाउ वी आर जस्ट गोइंग टू टेक इट अ लिटिल फॉरवर्ड एंड टू अंडरस्टैंड इट मोर एंड हाउ टू गेट इट इनटू अ सिस्टम फाइन सो नाउ पाय टेस्ट बेसिकली वी एज्यूम्ड अ situation where a client comes up to you and ask you to automate around 2000 test cases or more could be right so what you will be doing is you will just will use the knowledge of your programming language and the selenium code and you will write it right now around 2000 test cases will take around 4 to 5 hours to execute all the test cases in a proper manner without any interruption out of the 2000 test cases some could be successfully completed and passed as well some of the test cases may fail as well fine so depending on that failure and the success reports on that situation only we have to create a report a very full fledged report in which the details are given now over here i've just used a diagram to show you that there are some seven test cases which i am taking for the time for this test cases i would like to generate a proper report that in what in which test case what actually has happened in first test case in second i would like to generate a proper report which has logs and screenshots added into the reports so that one can understand by looking at the report only that what actually has happened in the test cases also i am not interested in keeping the data used in the test cases in the test cases itself i would like to keep it under the external files which external files that's totally up to you it could be excel file it could be a csv file a properties file or anything right so over here at one point we also have selenium into our system right selenium has into is into a system but selenium is not going to help me to generate any kind of reports any kind of reading of data from external files selenium is not going to help me in that selenium is just going to automate the browser that's the work of selenium so what is going to help me to generate the reports adding logs and all the py test the intermediate controller we have already discussed this that what the intermediate controller we are going to use and why are we using it so this is why this is the kind of structure which actually is being followed whenever we use pytest along with these three these three features there are many another features as well fine that you are going to understand and learn when you are practically working on pytest now we have seen that pyt what actually the work is of pytest now what actually pytest is we have not understood we have not taken the definition so pytest is a framework which is going to help you the test cases in the right format to differentiate the test cases from the normal scripts or code you are going to write pytest is going to differentiate out of those fine now along with pytest there are another frameworks as well like i have nos test py dot test unit test but out of all those pytest is the most simplest one to learn if you are absolutely a new person to programming pytest is going to be the simplest way of writing the frameworks there are number of uses as well that why we will prefer pytest so for that it's as i said it's easy to understand due to its simple syntax just you need to follow some rules which rules you are going to learn them in the next videos then i have another feature that i am able to skip the test cases using pytest i can skip the test cases just by my wish as well i can just say i just don't want to run the test case just skip it i can do that and even if i want to optionally conditionally skip the test case that also is possible using pytest then If I am skipping some test cases by my wish I also would like to run some test cases specifically out of the whole module I would like to run only a single test case 
that is that is also could be a requirement a need and also if i have to run multiple test cases i have to run all the test cases lying in the module lying in a package pytest allows me to do that with a single word command so that's why pytest is preferred over the unit test nose test frameworks and you will also feel that when you once you use this okay now comes that how to get this pytest into the system so that's very simple there is a small command that you have to run on the command prompt i'll show you just go over to your favorite browser whichever you prefer and search for download pytest so the very first link that you will see on the search page is pypi.org that's the official site once you open this link you will find out a command this is the command pip install pytest this is the only command that you have to give to install into pytest into your system fine now you must be wondering what this pip is if your python version is 3 or above this pip is going to be in your python language only it will be installed while you have installed the python language what is the use of this this is a package manager you can install packages which are not already in the python and selenium you can uninstall the packages using this pip only fine so it's a very useful file the pip file this will be available into your python package only along with this pip there are another as well like uh, there is easy install as well but pip is more reliable you can go on with the pip what you need to do is just go over your command prompt over here give the command pip install pytest that's it once you'll press enter it will start collecting all the required dependencies and requirements and will install this package into your system now i already have it into my system so that's why it's saying requirement already satisfied in your case it will inform you that the the package has been installed successfully you can confirm it by checking the version of this pytest so you can just give the command pytest double hyphen version so the version of pytest that is installed into the system that will be returned over here so i have the recent pytest version installed 6.0.1 which is over here this way you also can check into your system fine now pytest into is into your system how to write the test cases what are the rules to write the test cases that i'll tell you in the next video till the time do practice and thank you